drop it through. Okay, time to get started. <clears throat> Ah, choo! Oh, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> that joke is not gonna land for anyone who didn't watch last year. <laughs> I'm just gonna look like I lost my marbles. Hello, everyone! It is time for the wish list video. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here with my green screen. I'm here doing doing this thing now. I, for whatever reason, always go off script with my wish list video for better or worse. So, so we just go a silly. See? See what I'm doing? See what you see in here? Get a little silly here. This is what we do. We make little jokes. We talk about Reggie Claus. It's a whole thing. And I think we need a little silliness because um, this year wasn't great. <laughs> the, 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 this year was not super great for um, uh, basically everyone. So I, it's definitely weird getting to the end of the year and doing all these like retrospective videos, like, like my end of the year stuff. And um, things aren't normal right now. So it feels weird, but uh, but we do it anyway. That, I mean, if anything, it's more reason than ever, and uh, it's it's particularly weird talking about what I wished for this year, and then th imagining what I might get next year. It just feels a little uh, a, a little less normal. Uh, but that's okay. We're here. We're doing it anyway. Let's do it. I'm going to tell you what I have on my wish list for next year. But first, as always, uh, I'm gonna go over the previous year, you know, 2020, and uh, talk about what I wished last year and uh, see if any of my wishes came true. Which again, feels a little weird. <laughs> it was just such a weird year. But here we go. Here are the things that I wished for in 2019 and whether or not they came true in 2020. Silly dance. <laughs> Everything is silly. Everyone is having a good time. Okay, so this first wish is pretty funny. Um, pretty much every year for the last few years, uh, I've wished for two main things that I never seem to get, and that's Pikmin and Paper Mario. Well, guess what? This was the year that I got Pikmin and Paper Mario on Switch. And I guess maybe I was uh, <laughs> holding a monkey's paw or something while I made those wishes because they did come true, uh, but not in the way that I expected. Uh, for Pikmin, yeah, like, and it's funny, like, looking back over the video, I even said, I was like, yeah, I feel like it's too late for Pikmin 3. I feel like at, at this point, it should have come earlier. So if we get Pikmin 3, you know, a port, then we know that 4 is going to be so far away. And that is what ended up happening. I ended up enjoying it. You know, I'm trying to count my blessings. I did get a Pikmin to play on Switch, and that is good. But it, it's just kind of funny that just last year, I was like, yeah, we're finally past the point where I want a port of 3. And that's, that's what we got. We did not get Pikmin 4. And in fact, 3 means that 4 is probably probably a very long way off if it's ever coming. Um, and then Paper Mario, you know what happened there. I, <laughs> I should have specified, well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I did. I wanted a Paper Mario that was more in line with what I was looking for, and I did not really get that. I got it in ways, but not other ways. But anyway, I go on and on about that in my review, obviously. Okay, so that's that's that. That's the Pikmin and the Paper Mario. And um, Nintendo's release schedule has been so spotty that uh, one of my big wishes was for the first half of this year to not be too barren. Uh, and then I also didn't want it to feel like a breather year, you know, uh, like they've had in the past. Um, I, it, that wish did not really come true. The first half was really barren. Um, it was just Animal Crossing. As far as Nintendo is concerned, that was enough. But that was like, that was the one like major, major thing to come out in the first half of the year. So that was a little bit disappointing. And then it, I, it's hard to call it a breather year, especially when they might have had other pro uh, projects that got delayed. So, you know, you can't fault them for that. But yeah, like it had a couple notable releases, but it, you know, Pikmin was a port. Paper Mario was super divisive. Age of Calamity was good, but might not have resonated with all Zelda fans. Animal Crossing was really the one big thing. So yeah, that's kind of, eh, yeah, well, you know, whatever. Uh, I wished for a direct in January, especially because going into the year, we had no idea what was coming in the year. So I really wanted something big right in January. We did not get it. That is not a thing that we got. <laughs> we didn't get a major direct uh, pretty much at any time of the year. Uh, I wished for Mario Kart DLC. It's just the game is sold so well, and I think it makes all the sense in the world to just give us some DLC, even if not a full Mario Kart 9. We did not get that. Um, I wanted assurance that Retro Studios was working on a new game. Uh, and that, like, I basically want to know that not everything has been canceled. You know, I'm hoping that they're still working on something in addition to Metroid Prime 4 so that they haven't, you know, been just the last six years or whatever with nothing to show for it. 
Um, if that is true, then we don't know it yet because there was no retro uh, project revealed. I wanted a Metroid Prime 4 teaser and I did not get it. I knew that was pretty pie in the sky. Um, but you know, might as well wish it. Put a wish on your wish list if you wish for it. It doesn't even matter how realistic it is. Metroid Prime Trilogy HD seemed a lot more realistic and no, didn't get that either. <laughs> 2D Metroid, no, there were rumors about a 2D Metroid, but uh, it never happened. If it's in production, then we haven't heard about it yet. I wanted N64 games on Nintendo Switch Online. I thought maybe that would happen, and my big part of that wish was I don't want it to take all year. I don't want us to have to wait a year between platforms. We didn't get it at all. Just not even at all. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. I wanted a Switch Pro. I, I think I knew it was probably a little little tiny bit too early, like getting just about to the point where it was time. Um, but no, we didn't get that. We'll probably get it next year, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, I wanted a Breath of the Wild 2 name reveal. I, just more info, you know, release window, name, that kind of thing. But no, we didn't end up getting anything on that, though Age of Calamity did make that a lot uh, easier to take. I wanted Odyssey 2. I didn't get it. Um... <laughs> I wanted, okay, here's one. I wanted Pokemon to not be the holiday title because it was pretty much the big holiday title last year. And uh, I just didn't want it to be that way again. I wanted something else. And uh, I got that. We ended up just getting DLC. And um, the holiday title was kind of Age of Calamity. I mean, I guess it basically is. It came out in November. Um, so there you go. I got that one. And then finally, um, I wanted something big and new. Just something large from Nintendo. Um, like a new IP, some big AAA project that was new. Um, didn't really get that. Age of Calamity is like kind of at least an unexpected thing, but you know, it's not a new IP or anything like that. So no, that eh, didn't really come true either. So there you have it. Those were my 2020 wishes. Did a lot of my wishes come true? No, not really. <laughs> I, I, don't, I mean, even, even on a normal year, um, my wishes might not have come true, but they, I don't know, they extra didn't come true this year or they came true in ways that I did not anticipate. Um, but moving on, let's uh, let, let's be positive. Let's be positive about 2021, what we might expect. Um, there, there will be stuff, you, you know? I think uh, earlier this year when everything was really, really bad, um, there, was like, there was like a part of a lot of us that it's just like, are there gonna be games next year? Is that a thing? Or are we only getting the last remnants uh, throughout this year and the next year it'll just be nothing? But now things have been returning to normal. Uh, people are learning to work through all this. Uh, things are, are, are looking more positive for next year. So we know there will be some stuff. A at the very least, Nintendo will be producing some sort of content and uh, selling it to us. So here, right here are the wishes that I have for 2021. I said it wrong, but I'm not doing another take. That's what wishlist videos are for. 2021 wishlist, go, boom, flam, flip, flam. My first wish is uh, probably a really obvious one, and it's probably one that a lot of people share with me. Um, I hope that Nintendo's games and their just their company and their release schedule and everything don't end up being too impacted by this whole uh, situation. Uh, we don't really know what has been delayed. It kind of, we kind of get the feeling that uh, Super Mario 3D World was probably delayed, but they might have other projects that are getting delayed. Um, some maybe they're having a hard time finishing. We really don't know. So my real hope is that things have kind of gotten back to normal. They've gotten back into the swing of things. They're all working from home okay. You know, maybe the, the year just might start getting better anyway. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't impact it that much. I'm hoping that, you know, I think it, it's a reasonable wish. I, I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but I wish that we get games next year and it doesn't feel like a really messed up year because, oh, we just, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't complete anything. I hope even just for them, their sake, their their well-being. Um, I hope things are going okay over there. And this is probably too silly to even bring up, but I can't help it because I'm such a dreamer. Um, <laughs> I can't help but imagine, it's not gonna be the case, but I'm like, okay, what if there were a bunch of other games that were gonna come out this year, but they delayed them and didn't tell us about them because they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to complete them, but then they got back in the swing of things, so now they're gonna have all those games plus the other games that they're gonna develop next year, and next year we're getting just a billion, billion games. It could happen. <laughs> okay, next wish. It is Zelda's 35th anniversary. Mario got a big 35th anniversary direct and a whole bunch of fun products and stuff. And I want the same for Zelda. I want Zelda to get a nice big meaty thing. I want some kind of remasters. I want just a lot of fun celebratory content and cool merchandise and stuff. Cause I don't buy a lot of Mario merchandise. I like Mario, but um, 
Zelda stuff I'm way more likely to get. I connect with Zelda a lot more. So I'm hoping for some really fun stuff there. And similarly, like next year is the Breath of the Wild 2 year. It's got to be, I really hope so. And uh, again, if things didn't get delayed, um, I at one time thought Breath of the Wild 2 would come out this year, but then Age of Calamity kind of throws that off. So I want it to happen next year. Even if it's the end of the year, even if it's November, December, we gotta wait. I want it to happen. I want to hear about the game, get get the title, get the everything, and then to sell it to us and for me to play it <laughs> next year, please. And then also, I mean, like, if it is a year where it's, you know, we pretty much get like a Zelda or Zelda-related game every year, and if next year is Breath of the Wild 2, we probably won't hear about a lot of other stuff. Um, but yet, it is my wish list, and I will wish what I want. I want some news on another 2D Zelda. Um, it's... <sighs> It's been a really long time since I've just had a 2D Zelda. I mean, like, I really did like Link Between Worlds, but I was disappointed by, you know, like, the shared map and stuff and the story. Um, but it was cool. Um, but then, like, Link's Awakening was a remake, and so I was only going to enjoy it so much. I want a brand new 2D Zelda game. I'm really itching for one. Something actually, like, new and original, not a remake, not a retread or anything. Um, so yeah, if, if it's a Breath of the Wild 2 year, we probably won't hear about that, but I will wish it anyway. Just some little, tiny, I don't know, glimmer of a new 2D Zelda game on the horizon. Here's a really big one. I don't even know what to think about this anymore. Um, legacy content at one point felt like it was inevitable, and now it's like, did things get delayed because of this year, or is Nintendo really just dragging their feet that hard? Are we gonna get N64? I don't know. But I will continue to wish every year until I get it. More legacy content, more old games, more old platforms. I really want to play those games on my Switch. And then that leads me into a very, very important wish. No more limited releases. When they, if they give us that Zelda anniversary direct, I don't want every single game on there to be like available until September, 2021. I don't want that. I don't want legacy content that's gonna go away in a few months. I want that to be like, okay, we tried it in 2020, didn't really work, made everyone mad, so let's just cool it. <laughs> Please. Uh, just like last year, I am wishing for a Switch Pro um, at this point, as I've said before, uh, there's a lot of rumors about it. I'm 99% sure that we are going to get a Switch Pro next year. I will still wish for it, um, but now I'll get a little more specific. I hope that it is stronger enough. I hope that it's not just a teeny tiny little boost. Um, I am very much hoping that it, I, it's a hobbyist thing, you know? Oh, you wanna spend extra and get the extra big meaty one? Like, I'll pay, you know what I mean? Like people who are in that position, they will pay. I remember being kind of annoyed with the PS4 Pro. I was just like, I don't know, like Xbox made theirs even more powerful and it was more expensive, but like I would have paid more for a more powerful PlayStation. Um, so it was like more powerful, but not that much more powerful, not really pushing 4K graphics or anything, like all the way, you know, it's like kind of halfway there. So I want a new Switch to be nice and powerful. I want it to be, I mean, you know, I've said it a million times by now, 1080p, 60 FPS, that kind of thing. I'll pay, I'll pay for it. I'll pay pretty much whatever <laughs> to get a Switch that is more powerful and uh, just makes these games look and run better because the older the Switch gets, the more I just want something better, you know? And I don't want to have to wait until the whole entire brand new Switch hold, you know, next generation. I want something better now. I want a 1080p screen. I want it to just, be really nice, be like the the premier deluxe switch, you know? Next wish, I would like to see something from Star Fox. I am not even that big of a fan of Star Fox. I really like Star Fox 64, and I actually, uh, Adventures is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, just like for the sake of the series and the fans, I wanna see something. I know Nintendo pretty much never does a Star Fox unless they have some gimmick to hang it on. They. Are, they just won't make a regular but new Star Fox game or like expand it in ways that other game series have expanded their games, not just with a control gimmick. That's a whole discussion for another day. <laughs> Basically, I just, it would be nice to see something, even a teaser or something, just some indication that a new Star Fox is coming. Um, and then similarly, like F-Zero, I, I don't think there's a, I, I'm not an F-Zero fan. I don't really like racing games that much. Um, but it's another one just like just give us some kind of surprise some some down on its luck series 
just give us give us something. You know, so, something to get, for the poor fans to get excited over again. Like the big shocker, you know, like one or like at least one shocker announcement for the year that makes everyone go, "Whoa, I can't believe they're doing this." Oh, that's great. I I think um they need that kind of <laughs> The kind of PR after this year. We'll talk about that in a bit. I'm doubling down on a wish from last year that we see a Retro Studios project that has not been canceled. Not getting my hopes up at this point. I mean, even back then I was iffy and now it's been a whole entire year and we still haven't heard anything. It seems the most likely that all of their previous projects got canceled and there's just nothing, <laughs> nothing to show for all these years, uh, which is really frustrating. But I understand things happen and all that stuff. We're still getting Metroid Prime 4, um, which is cool. And uh, on that topic, I think next year is the year where it is not too early to get some tiny little glimmer, some teasery snippet of Metroid Prime 4. I think that is perfectly reasonable. They restarted production early 2019. So right here, we are about to hit the two year anniversary of that. By the end of 2021, even like the Game Awards, that's almost three years of the restarted development. That's actually a really long time. Maybe not enough to finish it, especially if they're making it a really big project. They might've had a lot of a lot of time, you know, R&D and design and all that early on. It seems that they are bringing on a really big team to make it, um, but I think even a teaser, just like a cinematic teaser, maybe we don't even know anything about the story or the gameplay or anything, but I think by the end of next year, it is possible to get something, and that's what I want. I want something. Just a little, just like a little, C it's like the, the Metroid Prime 3 corruption thing, where it's just like a CG, it's like a planet, and like, there's Samus. And then the logo, <laughs> you know, just, just anything, even if it reveals literally nothing, just, I don't even know why, like what, if it doesn't reveal anything, why would I even want that? I don't know. I guess I'm just that desperate to see that this project is real and tangible and actually coming someday. Doubling down on another one, uh, I want to hear something about Odyssey. I did end up getting my Breath of the Wild 2, you know, I haven't gotten it yet, but we're getting it. Um, so now it's Odyssey 2. I really just, I want to see something about that. Um, it's just so weird that they didn't give us DLC. They've given us DLC for like everything else, even Zelda, even getting a sequel. It's still got DLC. Why has Odyssey not gotten anything? I don't know. That makes me feel like there's got to be something. There's got to be Odyssey 2 or a, maybe a late DLC. It's pretty unlikely at this point, but something. I would take anything. I want new content based on Super Mario Odyssey and I want to hear about it next year. At least the reveal, even if we don't get it next year, I want to know that that's a thing because I want more Odyssey, darn it! <laughs> I love that game! Uh, here's a wish uh, if we end up getting Pokemon games next year, which we will because it is, a, it is an annualized series. I know this year was DLC, but you know, still a Pokemon playable product. Uh, next year we'll probably get Diamond and Pearl remakes, um, but whatever we end up getting, I hope it is better. I just, <laughs> I just hope that it lives up at least a little more. I tell myself, oh, I must not like Pokemon anymore. I must be done with the series, but like I can see the potential there and I know that they have the ability to improve at least somewhat. So I, I would even take it at least somewhat at this point. I just want a better Pokemon. I want a Pokemon that doesn't disappoint me quite as much. <laughs> Try not to be too negative here, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, even a lot of Pokemon fans, it, it, it kind of let them down a little bit, so. Um, Something that more people can get behind, that there's not a lot of controversy, and it's just kind of like, hey, this Pokemon game is pretty cool. I think that's a reasonable wish. Uh, my go-to wish, like I said, every year has been Pikmin and Paper Mario. Uh, Paper Mario happens, so that's done. Um, I can, t I mean, I can technically wish for Pikmin 4. I guess I kind of have to. It's my thing. I know I'm not gonna get Pikmin 4 this soon after 3. Probably not even on the Switch at all. Honestly, now that 3 is here, but I'll do it anyway. It's my wish list. And it's a wish, it's a real wish. It doesn't have to be realistic. I wish for Pikmin 4 in 2021. Will I get it? We'll just have to wait and say. And finally, uh, I'm not trying to end it on a super negative note. I'm trying to be, let's, let's put a positive spin on it. Um, Nintendo has made some decisions recently that have not sat well with a lot of people in the community. Um, They've even released a lot of games, like even, you know, I mean, Paper Mario was a big stink. Before that, Pokemon was a big stink. I want next year to be relatively free of controversies and fan wars. I just, let's just make it a nice year. Maybe Nintendo just cools it on like the really just like mean anti-community stuff. 
and like the really divisive, uh, controversial games that make a lot of people mad. Just let's just have a happy year. Like, just like games. Remember like when Smash came out and it was like super cool and everyone was just happy about it. Okay, even then the online wasn't great. That was the thing. But like for the most part, everyone was just happy about it and they gave it to us and it was great and we played it and we loved it. I just wanted to be like that again, you know? A year with a bunch of games that we think are cool and we play them and we talk about them and we like them. They're just cool games and Nintendo's cool and everything's cool. We need that. <laughs> We really, I just collectively, we really, really need for that to be, I need that for my, my soul needs that to happen. Will it happen? I don't really know. It seems to be possibly one of my least realistic wishes, honestly. No, that's putting way too negative a spin on it. It could happen and that is my wish. So there you have it. We've reached the end. Those are my wishes for 2021. Do you have wishes for 2021? Would you like, I, I'm extending an offer to you. Would you like, would you be interested in going down to the comments and putting them into words that we can read? It would please me very greatly if you did. I, I love to read other people's wish lists. Uh, so go do that, please, please. Please do his favorite for me. And really, I guess that's it. I, I, I look forward to doing these videos all year and then I do them and then they go by so fast. But uh, we're at the end. We're done. I'm done. I hope that you are having a good holiday season. I hope that you enjoy your Christmas and or whatever holiday you celebrate. And I very much hope that all of your 2021 wishes come true. Thank you for watching and have a great day.